Hello, Buzzcocks. My name is Hudson and welcome back to Belt Last Factorio. Where last time we did a bit of uh, work on our rail system to hopefully make everything a bit uh, smoother, smoother running. And um, I think I have placed the logic everywhere in here. Yes, all the stations now are controlled with the new logic where we basically set the train limit based on uh, what we have in the chest for the pickup it's uh, just a simple limit if uh, we are above that limit we allow trains to come in and for the delivery it's a bit more complicated especially where we have multiple items that are delivered uh, so there we have uh, different uh, limits for the items uh, in the in the correct ratio and only if uh, we have uh, three uh, or all items in uh, sufficient quantity um, we do not allow a train coming in what can still happen is that for example all the copper wires would be on this side and everything else on this side would register as enough items but neither side could produce anything but that's rather um, an edge case so um, i don't think so uh, that we need to to consider that uh, i also put down steel smelting two and three because um, compared to iron smelting one square for iron smelting is two squares of steel smelting just because we have uh, this this weird setup with two furnaces back to back to each other takes a bit longer and i think this station yeah we are queuing up on on steel waiting and then on here uh we probably have to add a few more miners as on this side they are pretty shut out and then it's basically just a matter of uh, figuring out um, what we need to do next this is the train to deliver for purple signs and we are waiting on enough electric furnaces to be uh, built um, and if we have a look here that train is currently waiting at steel so it's a good thing that we put in more uh, steel production and we will continue to monitor um, where we have any uh, shortcomings throughout this episode so we can actually um, overcome that as good as uh, possible and uh, push our way forward oh let me go through here sink oh Uh, here on this side we probably will have another miner and then let's just copy this and have it here 
here another one we need have one here we need one there missed one and then here in the back probably also want to have a few we can bring them around this way all right And this side, this was actually the first field. So the loading is a bit weird here with the long handed inserters. They are not that fast, especially as the stack inserters. But it does the job. And we have a second iron mine uh, up here, where apparently we also have quite a few miners already out of ore so i will head up there and uh, fix that as well while i was up there i also did another thing i hooked up the chests uh, and uh, basically set up the station this time to enable disable it um, if we had almost a full train load of ore in the chests because what we do not want to see is that trains uh, go to uh, to this uh, iron field even if the the chests are barely full then sitting here a long time until they get loaded uh, while up there they could be uh, loaded easily fast. Uh, it's just uh, they had to travel farther out. And as we are progressing here, I think we will try also to uh, set up the first steps that we need for the yellow signs. I'm thinking low density structures, that's the uh, easiest one. And flying robot frame, uh, there we need batteries and electric engines first uh, before we can uh, uh, tackle the uh, robo frames. And then processing units, that's a whole other beast because there we need to uh, uh, pump out the green and uh, red circuits. And currently I think green is somewhat uh, uh, working, um, but on the, the red one, not so much or not yet. And I'm not entirely sure why that is. If it's uh, uh, just uh, we don't have the amount of trains that we need or uh, uh, what's, what's the case here. So let's have a look. Waiting at plastic and then we have one on unloading there. Mm maybe for the the copper wire because we need double the amount of copper wire than anything else we could have some fill to stack inserters that should help a bit um on yeah that does certainly not help uh, a train having set there on a station uh, where we no longer have any 
plastic in the chests and once we have uh, emptied all our chests here we can hook up the, the new system i think it does produce enough for uh, for what we need but let's see uh pickup station two we'll still have one pickup station two uh, where we can pick up plastics This one, don't have a, a really huge amount there, but it will do, it will do. And as soon as this train can go on, um, it will do. And actually thinking about the problem with the train uh, maybe it would have been better to have these squares the double size because then on the line from one roundabout to the next we could have uh, this signal and then a normal signal behind it uh, without interfering uh, uh, with the with the flow too much and let's wait and uh, and see and until we find the next bottleneck one issue we can see here we have three trains that want to go to a green circuit unloading and with this new setup, we can see we have six trains uh, waiting to go there, but actually we only have four stations. So this would actually call for an unloading station. So let's see. We do have waiting bay here but that's not a good one so let's maybe copy this one and copy it from the top here so we have the roundabout in there and we shall have it. Down here. That's where we want to have it. Don't need that part. And we don't need this part then and we will have to make sure to rename those stations uh, not that uh, they will be picked up as waiting stations for other things and while the robots are doing this, we can have a look in this view. And here we can see, based on the color of the station, how we are standing. So we see a lot of the bluish things. And especially here for iron, where we can see the drop of his blue, uh, but also the pickup. Uh, especially if we also have something like this where no train is waiting this is an indication that we need more trains uh, no not more trains no more more factories like this because 
we cannot keep up with the with the demand especially if uh, we would have uh, waiting trains here uh, for steel similar thing but then here on this side we have a few that look different uh, where we have more white than than the bluish thing and here for example uh, this is a clear indication that we have delivered enough material but we have not yet produced enough and that's what i mean we need additional factories because the machines are just too slow for the amount uh, of trains delivering things so uh, if we can get uh, faster machines putting uh, things out we need to have more of them and uh, i think these ones are in um, Let's do just waiting one, two, three, and four, and five. Four. And down there we need another station. So let's just copy this one here. And then probably I will run out of um, rails as I have run out of uh, as I have run out of stations. Maybe, maybe not. I, I need to come back for the station anyway. And apparently also some signals. Looks like I had sufficient amount of rails. So Now then one, two, three, four. Yes, that works. And we will make this waiting green circuits delivery. And and let's grab these trains um, and waiting green circuits delivery to it. Uh, we don't need any condition. We only need uh, to have the station there and this one goes before this one because if uh, the train limit for this one is reached while the train is sitting here it will not move on but it is out of the out of the way right that was number one so let me do uh, all of these Sometimes we still get some hold up like here, but at least currently for the most part it's somewhat resolved and uh, we did not manage to get anything done towards yellow signs. So guess what we try in the next episode because this is the end of this one i will try to uh, resolve that copper ore uh, issue 
probably there is something that can be done uh, with the signaling. So they are actually driving up to there. Um, and this uh, no this wants to be on that side and that like this then it works um for the most part um and we still have this issue here where most of the time the coal train does not manage to get in there oh wanted to go out that's that's something different all right hopefully this will sort itself out uh, but that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you next time. Goodbye.